I'm out of Malkin. Whether by design or through technology, this necktie and these shoelaces underscore a noticeable trend at this year's American International Toy Fair. Seems with the right touch, anything can be made into a toy these days. Cody's are another perfect example of that. A twisty, turny, makey, whatever you want y thingy that came from a place hardly known for toy development. It was actually developed by some guys at MIT working on nanotechnology. They were modeling some things that are going to be about the size of a pinhead. And the models, they're like, oh, these are really fun. You can do some cool stuff with this. And actually, we've gone and turned it into a toy. And for $8 this spring, you get one 64-piece strand with a code that tells you how to make a specific creature or object. Developers are also setting up an online meeting place for people to swap codes or even create and share some of their own. Little Bits, meantime, also for creating. They're basic circuit boards that snap together with magnets so that kids can create their own toys. There's no soldering, there's no wiring. Um, everything just snaps together. You can't plug anything in uh, the wrong way because the magnets prevent that. You're learning about uh, like science, electricity, logic, things like that. The Little Bits Starter Kit is out now for around $90. Now you've no doubt heard of pop-up books, but what about pop our books are AR, augmented reality, books that come alive and allow you to come a little bit more alive as soon as you stick them in front of your computer. You actually open up a book, butterflies, rocket ships, bulldozers, bulldoze across the page. So not only can you read it, you can see it and be it. You actually hold the book in front of a web camera or any PC or Mac and actually it comes alive, it sprouts to life. Out now for 20 bucks a piece are books on planets, bugs, and construction. Up next, one on princesses. Adam Balkin, New York One.